Hello there and welcome to another video. This video marks the beginning of a course where we'll build a fully functional Skype clone in Flutter. So let me show you the app itself and how it works and take you through all the features that it has. In fact, before any of that, let me first show you Skype itself if you haven't used it yet. So I am first going to launch it and notice the design and the color and all the widgets that are there. So on the very first screen, we have all the chats. Then on the second one, it lists all the logs and in the third one, it lists all the contacts. Then if you click on this little circle, it takes you to your profile where we find the option to sign out of the app. To be honest, I have been randomly calling people this past week to check out whether Skype lets you call them or not. And to my surprise, it does without any consent from the receiver. So we'll be implementing the same functionality. All right, now let's move on to the Skype clone that we are going to build. So I have this login button and I'm using the shimmer library for creating this effect on the text. And I have also created a video on that library so you can check that out to know more about it. So I'm going to click on it and it pops open the Google sign in block and I'm going to select my account. Okay. So as I select an account, it shows a circular progress indicator and then moves on to a new screen on a successful login. Now, since we don't have any data, therefore we are going to show this placeholder widget. And in the calls as well, it says that all your call logs will be listed here. Then if you go to contacts, it asks for permission to access contacts. And once you give it the permission, it lists all your contacts with an invite button in front of it. I have not given any functionality to the invite button. All right, so let me quickly bring another device on my screen. Now, if I click on this user button, it opens up my profile, which just contains my name, my profile pic and my email. And there we have an option to sign out. And on my second screen, I'm logged in with my personal account. Okay, so now I will search for the CS guy and it fetches me this result. Then I will click on this and I will write hi. And notice the other device suddenly it shows that I have received a new message from this person. You can also send images by clicking on this plus icon or by taking an image by a camera. So I'll click on this icon and it reveals a bottom sheet. And the only option that works is the media. So we'll click on that and now I will select an image. And there we go. It shows the progress indicator and once the image is uploaded to Firebase storage, it shows the image over here as well. You can also view the image by clicking on it. And we are using a hero widget to perform this sort of transition between screens. Also, if you click on this icon, it reveals an emoji container so you can browse various emojis and send them. Now, the most important feature is calling. So does calling work? Let's check it out. So I'm gonna click on this video call icon and it asks for permission first. And once I grant the permission, it accesses the front camera. And as soon as I do that, the other device shows up the pickup screen and the device starts playing the ringtone. Also, remember that this is not a real call. We are rather just mocking a call. So we would have to implement many tests in order to perform this efficiently. And on the first device, in order to indicate that we are calling, I have placed a text as well as a calling sound. So first I will just reject the call. And after rejecting, it says here that call was missed. And if you go back to logs in both the devices, it says the name of the caller and shows a little missed icon right here. And it also shows the time and day of the call. Now I will make a call once again and this time I will pick it up. And there we go, the video call has now commenced. Also notice that it is a very custom layout that we have over here. All right, so now I'm just going to hang up and this takes us back to the previous screens for both the users. Then on the chat screen, it shows the call duration. And if you go to lock screen and notice the icon right here. So the device which dialed has the dialed icon and the device that received the call has an incoming icon. For managing the call logs, we are using an SQLite database. So you'll get to learn about that as well. Also, if you hold an item for long enough, we get the option to delete it and once you press yes, it gets deleted from the database. All right, so that's pretty much it for this course. I would also like to show you a cool feature that I have implemented in this app. So if you look at this green dot for this user, it shows that the user is currently navigating or using the app. But when I list all the apps, suddenly the green dot turns to yellow, which means that the user is around. He's just not on the app currently. 
and now when I continue using the app, it turns green again. And if I terminate the app like this, it changes to red. So that's pretty cool. So let's recap what all things you will learn in this course. First of all, making complex layouts. Then working with backend, using Firebase and using SQLite. You'll also get to see how to structure your data in Firestore DB. It'll be helpful if you're not familiar with that or find it confusing. Then you'll get to know more about Google Sign-in and Firebase Storage. Also, you'll see that how to query the database to get the desired information. And of course, last but not least, you'll get to see the implementation of video calling in Flutter. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to make a quick introduction to the course. And I'll soon be uploading more videos, so stay tuned. And subscribe to the channel if you're new here. In fact, I also wanted to link the APK so that you can download it and run it on your device. But I didn't do so as there are some more things that are left and the app is kind of buggy. But yeah, make sure to check the description of the video as I'll link the app in the description as soon as it's finished. So till next time.